you know who's addicted to losing? That's Daniel Stevens, aka Fantastic. Graf. What a <laughs> aka graph now let me let me it brought me great joy today ralph oh man now he's trying to okay so we'll we'll get into it. Let, <laughs> let me read this because i you know he got some money after this but he said he's still getting a job and i don't know if he's gonna i know, reckon we going. read this one line by line ralph yes now would you like to read it or i mean i can or we can do it line by line if you like Okay. What trade off line by kick, line, or just or just take yeah, it line by line? Off with hey friends, Ralph. Okay. Hey friends. In 2021, I saw a lot of promise in post. So because I had a fair bit of money saved, I quit my job and focused solely on post. Can we explain what post is? Post yeah. isn't anything you quit your job. It's like an instance, isn't it? Yes. It's a Fediverse instance. Why, why would you quit your job for like a reskin chud butts? I have no idea. And by the way, that's what you don't do, by the way. He's like, I had 100K <laughs> in the bank and I quit my job. It's like, what the fuck? Keep working. Like, what are you doing? I'm from Grand Ralph, apparently. This is what he says, as well as angel investors' money. So, I mean, I reckon we can at least chalk up 200 grand to this. Right. And look, you know, 100 grand, that's a nice piece. Of, that's a nice chunk of change, but it really isn't if you're trying, right? It doesn't last that long if you start sinking it into a fucking, you know, money pit, which is exactly what he did. And, you know, I'll a talk, money pit, which was a haven for fur fags, lollicon enthusiasts, and just straight up pedophiles. 100 grand of his money propping up that sinking ship. That's right. A sinking ship that's already been like ransacked over and over and over again. That's right. Well, and it was, you know, hacked and all the DMs were leaked, including DMs of people who are, aren't even on the site anymore, like Sven from TRS. And he was bitching about that, which I don't blame him, really. Uh, it's like, what the fuck? How are my DMs even still on there? I deleted my account. Well, they were. And so um, many such cases when it concerns post. And he also he talks about angel investors. He had a chance. Uh, Odyssey was going to invest some money in it. And I remember talking uh, to Julian, actually, at that time. And I was like, look, dude, this guy's crazy. Uh, yeah, and, can you, you imagine? Know, I was like, don't get into business with this guy. You know, I know we've had some issues here and there, but this is not a good idea. And, you know, he didn't want to hear it. And who ended up ruining that, though, was Graf himself. Because he As went, always. right, it was him. It wasn't even me. He goes on post and starts, you know, talking about their meetings and their, you know, private correspondence. I think he even posted one of the emails. Uh, and then he was kind of talking shit. And well, that's all it took, right? Uh, and that deal was off the table. And, you know, I heard you the, were right. The uh, owner of Odyssey tried to buy uh, Chubbuds as well, didn't he? Tried to bail so, that uh, meth poop to bitch out. Yeah, I believe then so. She I don't think she's ever come back either. So hopefully no, she goes the way of Douglas. She hasn't come back. She said she was going to do all these big things to me, and uh, they never happened. So never, never quite transpired. Well, two years later, it's cost me almost a hundred grand, and <sighs> continues to cost me exponentially more money every single day that passes. Holy <sighs> shit! A hundred grand on post, Godwinson. So I have decided I will just enter the workforce again. Uh, Whoa! That's what he said. Wow! <laughs> oh shit! All right, it's <laughs> it got serious. He's getting a job. What got Walmart? <laughs> and also, I you know I don't know if he knows this, but it may not be as easy as he thinks to re-enter the workforce. Damn uh, right! I mean, I imagine there's... the first question that someone's going to ask is, okay, so what have you been doing? Oh, I've just been running posts. Well, how how did that end? Oh, well, it was hacked, and everyone's DMs were read. Uh, all of the user data was compromised, and I turned out to just be a massive faggot. Um, <laughs> yeah. Thanks for your application, sir, but uh, we'll be in touch. <laughs> yeah. Don't call us. We'll call you. Uh, we'll porcelain, call you. Porcelain says, Graf banned me for calling it pedo post as a joke and got very mad, accusing me of pedo jacketing. Odd fellow. He is an odd fellow. Uh, what is pedo jacketing? What is that? So that's a term um, basically for like scandalizing a person or a site or a group uh, by jacketing them with pedophiles and pedophilia. Well, it didn't take much jacketing. If Porcelain's calling them pedophiles, um, I mean, that's exactly what was going on on that website. Yeah. You know, we've read a lot of the DMs now. We've read a lot of the fucking craziness that was in play. The little lollicon shit, the fur fag shit, the images that were being like. It, it was what it was. And he wasn't banning anyone for being a pedophile either. 
No, he wasn't. That was like the one thing he accepted, actually. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and he was posting Lollycon himself. I think his actual avatar uh, is Lollycon, yeah. actually. Uh, and uh, Porcelain says it's a coat pedophiles use. Yeah, I found that usually. If somebody's saying pedo Got jacketing, it. Uh, they're, Got it. they're probably a pedophile, uh, to be honest, or sympathetic to them at the very least. Uh, and then the le next line there, do you want to take that one? Yeah, because I'm going to get a job to make sure my wife and children don't have to worry about their futures. Well, what have you been putting them through for the past two years, bro? I'll be spending less time focused on post. Oh, wow. oh no. So he said, so shit will be broken. Well, I mean, it's been broken this whole it time. It already is broken. <laughs> it, it's already fucking in, in thousands of pieces, Graf. Yeah, how's it going to get worse? We, I, I mean... we ain't ever getting Humpty Dumpty back together again, <laughs> I don't think. Most shit will be broken. Well, again... Uh, that's already the case. I'll let you take the next line. There isn't much I can read. Well, Ralph Amali Respector sent five dollars. Nick Thank had you. time to call Paul and tell him say Ralph is evil or I'll cry, but that's he true. never has time to do that for Pedo Ali Akbar Alexander. That says it, Paul. Excellent point, and believe me, we're gonna get deep into the into the Paul stuff, but I, I, I'll just wait on that. Uh, go ahead and take that next line, Gowanson. There isn't much I can really do about it besides hiring someone, but I wouldn't have to do it. If even one tenth of you donated one dollar a month, the Molyneux oh. defense, all he needs is one dollar a month. One single dollar. You know, um, <laughs> I've said that as a joke, like trying to hit the goal. I don't really like those tactics, uh, Godwinson. And we see it on the Kino Casino where they're just like, uh, just outrageously begging, basically. <laughs> uh, That's what it is. It's begging, isn't yeah. it? It's begging with a pad in your hands desperately begging and that's what this is it's not a resignation letter it's not it's all over it's not he's going to get a job it's that he's begging it's really a beg a begathon there and it's just unseemly and usually when it goes to that level um it's on the way out because that's a bad sign uh that's a bad sign like cog hitting up his individual donators before the show and trying to get money which i saw the other day and i was like who the fuck even does that Gowanson? like what well the fuck? does that so <laughs> Birds of a feather. That's they crazy to me. Like, I've never done that. Like, oh, hey, I'm going to have a big show today. Make sure I get some money. Um, no. It's I never mean... a big show, though, is it? With I mean, <laughs> it, it amazes me that it even calls the show a show. It's it's called live streaming his unemployment. It's terrible. It's tough. That's what that is. It's tough. Eating a crisp. <laughs> I'm giving you advance warning now because I started looking for employment today to pay post bills. Well, it's pretty sad, I have to say this, but I expected this website and its users could at least cover the cost of the site. But I've had to beg angel donors for an entire year to cover the bills, and I'm just not doing it anymore. <laughs> angel donators. Okay. Who do you reckon these angel donors were, Ralph? Retards. I mean, I can't imagine. Yeah. I don't know Straight how they got their money in the retard. first place, that maybe they had some luck in the crypto market or something. But... What angel donors means is that they expect no return on their money right, right. no that's return right. on that so angel donors is just another word for he scammed the money it's another word for rube <laughs> right mark yes uh and yeah angel they, don't, donors. they don't get any return they don't get any um like percentage of the company they just give him the guy money for for no, no reason right um and so well probably because they're pedophiles but well, we'll leave that. Yeah. Uh, well clearly i mean the money wasn't well spent was it i mean it wasn't spent keeping the website secure it wasn't spent on moderation, on anything that wasn't put a pedophilia. Um, it wasn't spent on, on anything worthwhile. So, I guess we're all angel donors, aren't we? Well, I, <laughs> I I saw Gator in a clip trying to blame it on Pleroma itself, and it's like, well, I haven't seen. Too well, many Gator other. was the, literally the mo number one poster on Post. Yeah, his text DMs equated to like three gigabytes. Which in text is a lot of text. And he was the most prolific and most substantial poster on post, as well as Chug Butts. That's crazy to me. Three plus gigabytes of text. Uh, you know, that's like full video length size. You know how many <laughs> words you have to write to get three gigabytes worth of data? Um, you know, it's in the multi thousands. Um, you know, it's insane. Uh, he says, it's pretty sad. I have to say this. It is sad, actually. But uh, it is. It's pretty sad. I have to say this. But I expected this website and its users could at least cover the cost of the site. But I've had to be beg angel donors for an entire year to cover the bills. And I'm just not doing it any anymore. Thanks for coming to my novel, which it wasn't really that long. But 
Um, and then here's some more. He's, I guess he's responding to somebody. He says, no, it does not. I recently asked a post user to cover our costs for a few days. Cover our cost a few days ago. The month prior, another sent us a crypto donation. You can keep tabs on crypto donations, blah, 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 blah. Then he says, oh, someone, ref <laughs> oh, someone <laughs> refunded their donation, so we actually are negative and have to pay a fee now, so that's cool. Fantastic. Uh, they should all do that. They should yeah. all have them paying the fees. That would be terrible, wouldn't it? Uh, we can't support that. Of course not. Uh, then he says, we are still behind almost a grand when that bill comes in, when that bill comes due, I'm just simply not paying it. That's not good. Uh, so we will be offline. I'm not paying for pe free people, or excuse me, I'm not paying for people to have a free ride anymore. No more free riders. God, no more free riders. Unpost. Even though this was a website set up purely for free speech, and if you were deplatformed everywhere else, you could post on post. Um, no more free riders. Now I guess Graf wants to get paid. Yeah, he wants to get paid. He wants to cash out, get the bag. Now he says, we, and I don't know if this is on post or on Twitter, but uh, it looks like it might be Twitter. I don't know. He says, we're actually $36 a month over our goal for the first time ever, uh, is what he said. So I don't know if he's going to keep it up for another month. There's another post uh, that I have. Well, Ralph, quickly, up, when but... will he learn? He's already pumped over 100 grand into this. Other people have pumped, I imagine, other thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars already into this. When's he going to learn that it's just a money pit? Well, yeah. No I amount mean... of money is going to keep this afloat or keep this working. It's over. I mean, if he was smart, he would get out now, uh, quite honestly. Uh, and I'm looking for the other post. I don't have it pulled up. Um, but uh, he talks about he's still going to um get a job he says good morning and thank you for the push from 1.1 to 1.5k on the donation meter friends that combined with our liber pay liber pay i don't know libera pay I don't <laughs> know. brings us to only about 200 dollars off our monthly goal and it's really nice a really nice thing to see and while i appreciate the support i feel fear it's not stable like i would hope so so i will no punctuation here by the way so i will continue my plan of finding employment if nothing else to support the growth and development of post uh is what he says there um that doesn't well sound that like wasn't his strong. plan in what he just outlined there was it no his plan was to get a job and fuck you post is broken post will stay broken bye i'll let post die i mean that wasn't his plan to support the growth of it it just seems to me like he's going to do this every month to grift donos yeah and i've seen that um what is that site um, f that just Joe Radio st streams there? It starts with an S, I think, maybe. Um, the guy used to work for Gab, the guy who codes it. And he would get on there every month and start berating people and, like, you're not paying and you're not doing this and that. And I'm going to take it down. And he uses that as, like, a fundraising tactic, right? Um, and I don't know yeah. if this guy copied it from him or, or what, but that tactic it's only greasy works. As fuck. Yeah, it's greasy and it doesn't work long term right like if you can't keep something supported based on what you're doing um you know those type of tactics yeah they might work for a month or two or for a little while but um people don't like that and it's kind of speaks to you don't have a project that's getting you know it's not getting what it needs right like it's not getting the support it needs for a reason so maybe you need to yeah. evaluate what you're doing reevaluate right um so i've seen this before and um it's a terrible sign. Well, I just want to say it warms the cockles of my heart that Graf has pumped 100 grand into this, wasted two years of his life, considering a job at Walmart to keep the lights on. Um, and he's going to be begging pan in hand every month just for donations to keep it afloat. That warms the cockles of my heart. It's really, it's really great, actually, Ralph. Shing is the name. Uh, Shing, yeah, that's the name. Right. <laughs> yeah, Shing. Uh, and I saw that guy doing that, and I remember making fun of him, and it's like, dude, what the fuck are you doing? Um, so what do you think about the future of Post? Does it look, uh, does it look bright? Is there a future? I think, the fu I think we've just seen the very <laughs> end, haven't we? Um, I mean, I already knew the writing was on the wall every time it was being hacked, and we were reading all of Gators' DMs. I don't think Gators had a DM that's been private for the past three years. But, you know it is over it is definitively over all we've got to look forward to now is when he just takes his eye off the ball completely and we get to read all of the dms that have been taking place between that last post leak and the and the current day and i imagine there's lots of stuff in there that's going to be worthwhile well i wouldn't be surprised if it got hit up again because it's obviously not secure <laughs> well he's just said to everyone he's taking his eye off the ball he's going to be working his job at walmart so 
you know, now's the time to strike if you were an opportune spec and spook. That's true. That's Not true. That I it. No, I don't avow it, but I'll definitely put it on air here if you do it. Uh, now, <laughs> yeah, we'll definitely do the journalistic coverage of the, uh, you know, of the findings. If my hand is forced, you know, guys, I, of course I don't want to dabble in that sort of thing. But uh, I mean, once know. it becomes public domain, it's public domain. But uh, you know, That's all right. I'm saying is, if I was an opportune, you know, neat spare who had an axe to grind against Graf. If I was post, if I was banned from post for not being a pedophile, you know, now would be the time to strike. Yeah, and another thing he does is post these highly detailed, um, you know, like paragraphs on what he's doing technically with the site, which strikes me as a very bad idea. Uh, yeah, because it's like you're, retarded. Actually. Yeah, it's like okay. Pretty so sure that was the roadmap they used to hack that's it. That's insane. First place. It's like, dude, uh, <laughs> you shouldn't be posting that. Uh, you're kind of giving people a leg up. He's you know? giving it's... them like treasure maps and wondering how they're digging up his treasure. Like, come on. It's ridiculous. I see Porcelain says it's basically a warning to his posters that they'll get their DMs leaked again unless they pay him a dollar a month. Yeah, it kind of is. Also, this fly, yeah. I'm going to fucking kill it. Get the fuck away from me. Uh, it's Mexico in the summer. So they fucking get trapped in air. Fucker, I'm going to kill you. Uh, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, Porcelain's right. He's holding it over their heads. You know, he's hoping that Gator forks out, lest another one of his DMs get leaked. Uh, well, you know, he gets really mad when people bring that up, and they're like, "Oh, these people got doxxed, and these DMs got leaked." And he's like, "Hey, well, it's your fault, and uh, you should have known." And it's like, "Well, yeah. no, no, Graf, it's your fault. Right? It's your fault for not having any sort of cyber security on that website." That's right. It's his fault, and just a chronic. You know, understand sometimes you don't want to take responsibility. Maybe it takes a while, but he just refuses to take responsibility for that. And I guess he's too dumb to realize that he would get a lot more donos. He would get a lot more support if he just, you know, took manned up and basically said, hey, this is my fault. And, you know, I'm sorry. And we'll do better next time. Instead, he literally says, it's your fault. And you should have known better. And that's not something that people enjoy hearing, Gowinson. No. And they're not going to give this guy $1 a month to post on his piece of shit website either. No. You know. Well, and also... I mean, what's wrong with Twitter? I don't well, understand what I say. why they all fled. Because they're all on Twitter anyway. So wh wh why did they go from Twitter? Well, there was a time when Twitter was kind of more ban heavy. And even if you did get banned, it was a lot harder to get restored. You know, I've gotten banned this but year. But all of them restored. kept their accounts there anyway. It's like they post like four different places. Yeah, that's right. Um, and, I, you know, especially since Twitter opened back up, kind of, and, you know, there's still some bands here and there, but uh, a lot more open than it was uh, at this time last year. Uh, that kind of shot a hole, in, another hole uh, in his boat right there. Because, like, well, you can just go to Twitter now, basically, and do whatever you want to a certain degree. And, you know, why do you even need post, right? Uh, so... I don't know. Uh, imagine sticking a hundred grand into that website. <laughs> that imagine being one mind. of these angel dono rooms that have just been completely scammed. A uh, hundred thousand dollars into post with nothing How did he to even show have for that it. money just sitting in the bank. I mean, what, what was he thinking? He could have spent that on anything, on absolutely anything. Right. Well, I mean, he literally could have just put it in a mutual fund or something like that. <laughs> like, I mean, a decent return. Uh, and instead, he spends all this money uh, on this broken website, uh, draws a lot of heat to himself. He said he was going to sue me. Like, kind of sounds like another guy we know, doesn't well, it, Well, look, I, you know, <laughs> <laughs> I won't go there. But, uh, you know, it's like, dude, you're drawing all this heat to yourself. Now you're infamous. You're threatening all these people. And you're kind of a pariah, right? Like, I mean, nobody yeah. likes this guy uh, at this point, except for Ranbot and maybe Gator. And um, that's not going to get it done. Well, so you might, might as well just say that nobody likes it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.